Have you ever gone to a seashore, say to Mumbai beach or Vishakapatnam beach or Chennai beach? You might have seen high water on the sea and sometimes the water seems to be too calm, receding back. You know what is that? Tides, correct? But have you wondered what is causing these tides? What force is pushing the water to so much height sometimes and other times keeping it so low? Let us look at this in detail. As we know, the moon revolves around the earth. Just like there is a gravitational force on the earth that keep all of us attracted toward the center of the earth, there is a gravitational force of moon that pulls the earth's objects like water in this case towards the moon and this gravitational force of moon gives tides in the ocean and sea on the earth there are two kinds of tides the high tide and the low tide during the high tide the water level rises and during the low tide the water level comes down. This is how the high tide and the low tide looks. Look at this video. This is the normal level of water. Pay attention to the tree and the rocks and their water level right now. When the high tide occurs, the water level increases. As you can see, the tree and the rock are now covered with water which was not there before. And when the low tide occurs, the water level reduces. As you can see, the water level is much below the tree and the rock now. Now let us understand the reason for this high tide and the low tide. We know the tide occurs because moon's gravitational force pulls the water from the earth towards the moon. Let's say because of moon's revolution, the moon is on the right half of the earth. So the moon's gravitational force pulls the water on the right half of the earth towards itself. So the countries on the right half of the earth experiences high tide that is their water gets pulled towards the moon leading to rise in water level and if water is getting pulled towards the moon to form the high tides on this half the water is getting pushed from the top and bottom half of the earth towards the other two halves to compensate this that is water goes low and top and bottom half or that half experiences low tide so the right half that is facing the moon experiences high tide due to its water getting pulled towards the moon and the top and bottom half experiences the low tide to compensate that water flow by pushing it water towards the other two side and what is the water level on the left half? There is also the high tide. And in the next 6 hours, the position changes. That is the country which was on the right half of the earth is now on the top half. So it experiences the low tide now. And the countries which were previously on the bottom half of the earth is on the right half. That is facing the moon. So it experiences high tide. So given place on earth, experiences a high tide followed by low tide every 6 hours. So we saw the moon's gravitational force pulls the water from the earth towards itself which gives high tide on earth on the side facing the moon and opposite to it and the low tide on the other two sides and due to rotation of earth every side changes its position relative to moon in every 6 hours. So a given side experiences high tide 
followed by low tide every six hours. These are all beauty of nature. We should appreciate it with full heart. Have fun kids. Bye bye.